Hey everyone, welcome back to Terramator Gardens. Today on Edible Weeds, we're taking a closer look at a plant you've probably stepped on countless times, plantain. Don't worry, it's tough enough to handle it. Plantain, with its scientific name, Plantago Major, boasts an impressive global presence. This tenacious green has been a traveler for millennia, following humans across continents. Evidence suggests it was even carried by Vikings on their voyages, earning its nickname Viking's Footprint. So how did this globe-trotting green become a garden nuisance? Plantain thrives in compacted soil, making it a common sight in walkways, lawns, or even cracks in pavement. Its persistent roots and wide dispersed seeds make it a persistent competitor for resources in cultivated areas. But for the forager, plantain is a readily available bounty. You'll find it popping up in just about any disturbed area from backyards and parks to roadsides and even wastelands. Look for plants with broad rib leaves radiating from a central crown. Now before you head out foraging, there's one crucial tip. Identify correctly. There are several plantain species and some have slightly different characteristics. Focus on the broad rib leaves with smooth edges. Also avoid harvesting from areas treated with herbicides or pesticides. Once you've identified your plantain, it's time to get creative. Plantain is a versatile green with a surprising deep depth of flavor. Young leaves can be enjoyed raw in salads and a slightly peppery and earthery kick. Sautéed or steamed plantain makes a fantastic substitute for spinach or kale, and the tougher stems can be chopped and used in stir fries for added texture. The key to enjoying plantain lies in proper preparation. Older leaves can be tough and stringy, so stick to the younger, more tender foliage. A quick blend can remove any bitterness, leaving behind a pleasant, slightly earthy flavor with a hint of pepper. But plantain isn't just tasty, it's packed with a surprising amount of nutrition. This resilient green is a good source of vitamins A, C, and K, along with essential minerals like potassium and magnesium. Plantain also boasts anti-inflammatory properties, making it a potential aid for soothing minor cuts and scrapes. Plantain's benefits extend beyond the kitchen. The crushed leaves have been used historically for medicinal purposes, and some studies suggest it may even help with wound healing and soothing insect bites. The dry leaves can be also brewed into a tea for potential digestive benefits. Plantain's historical significance goes beyond its use as a food and medicine. Folklore from various cultures around the world associate plantain with good luck and protection against evil spirits. In some Native American traditions, plantain was considered a sacred herb used in healing rituals. So next time you see plantain growing beyond the cracks in the sidewalk, don't see it as a weed. This Brazilian green offers a delicious and nutritious addition to your diet a wealth of potential health benefits, and a fascinating connection to cultures around the world. If you enjoyed learning about plantain, be sure to subscribe for more episodes of Edible Weeds. We'll be uncovering the secrets of other underappreciated forage greens, so stay tuned for exciting discoveries in the wild world of edible plants. Happy foraging!